Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. After a long time, I am uploading a video on my channel, and I really thankful to you all for your love and support. So today I will design a space vector modulation based three phase inverter circuit. So basically, space vector modulation is a digital modulation technique. or you can say it is a very advanced modulation technique than any other pwm technique at all the main objective of the space vector pwm technique is to generate the pwm load line voltages which are averagely equal to the reference load line voltage and also a space vector modulation gives 15.5% more utilization of dc link voltage that means input voltage than any other conventional pwm techniques like sin pwm technique pd pwm technique and any other pwm techniques and also it has lesser switching losses because only one switch is operating at a time i will show you that how one switch is operating at a time so in the right hand side you can see a three phase inverter circuit is shown and we know that there are eight switching states are possible including 111 and 000 So the eight possible switching states are 000100110011011001101 and the final one is 111. So one represents the upper switch is on and zero represents the lower switch is on. So if we consider 000 that means switch S4 S6 and S2 will on. If we consider 110, that means from leg A, switch S1 will on. Phase B, switch S3 will on. From phase C, switch S2 will on. And the corresponding line to neutral voltage and line to line voltage is shown on the screen. you can see and here it is the voltage vectors that is v0 v1 v2 v3 up to v7 so here you can see that v0 and v7 is zero and the rest of the vectors are shown here next i will show you that how you can get this vectors values you can say a space vector ut in a complex notation can be written as 2/3 of ua plus ub into e to the power j 2 2/3 of pi plus uc into e to the power minus j 2/3 of pi or you can say va vb vc also here i am denoting this as a ua ub uc so the output phase voltage in switching state 100 100 means 100 means for phase A switch S1 is on and for phase B and phase C the lower switches are on like A6 and S2 so that means your VA or UA you can say is 2/3 of VDC your UB or you can say VB is minus 1/3 VDC because the lower switches are on and VC or UC you can say is equal with minus 1/3 of vdc from the calculation v1 can be written as 2/3 of vdc or it can be written as 2/3 of vdc into e to the power j0 so we are adding this e to the power j0 part for our calculation purpose for rest of the sectors that means vn is equal with 2/3 of vdc into e to the power j n minus 1 pi by 3 here n is the sectors that is n equal to 1 to 6 you can say so from this equation you can easily calculate uh, v1 to v6 vectors so that is how we are getting the v0 v1 v2 v3 v4 as well as all other vectors now this is the sector representation part i would like to tell you that whatever the vector values we have calculated up to now all vectors are stationary vectors they do not move in space and our ut vector this is a rotational vector and it rotates 
with the angular velocity of omega and omega is equal with 2 pi f and here f is the fundamental frequency of the inverter output voltage so now at first uh, we have to transform the three phase quantity into two phase quantity by using clark transformation so already i have uploaded a video on clark transformation so i will put the link in the description box you will easily get it so from this two phase quantity we can get our v reference and our angle alpha alpha is the angle between the rotating vector and the stationary reference frame alpha beta using these eight voltage vectors a regular hexagon is formed in alpha beta stationary frame which consists of six sectors spanning 60 degree each when v reference or the modulating vector passes through the sectors one by one different sets of switches will be turned on or turned off and also when v reference rotates one revolution in space the inverter output voltage completes one cycle and this inverter output voltage can be adjusted by varying the magnitude of v reference and how we can vary the v reference if we change the three phase quantity v reference will be automatically changing so how we can get the output voltage of the inverter the reference vector v reference in a particular sector can be synthesized to produce a given magnitude and position from the nearby three stationary space vectors like for sector 1 you can see here the main stationary vectors are v0 v1 v2 then again v0 or you can say v7 also in the beginning i have told that the main objective of space vector modulation is to get or obtain the maximum load line voltage and minimize the switching frequency so how you can obtain the maximum load line voltage you have to synthesize the reference voltage vectors from three nearby stationary space vectors so that is the main concept and how uh, the switching frequency can be minimized the first uh, it is started from 000, zero, zero. that is uh, at this time v0 vectors uh, is used after that is 100 zero, zero. that is v1 after that 110 that is v2 after that again it is turned into 111 so you can see during this transition only one switch at a time is turned on or turn off and in case of sector 2 it is started from 111 that is v7 after that v2 that is 110 after that v3 that is 010 and then again to v0 that is 000 in every transition only one switch is operating at a time that means one switch will turn on or turn off at a time so that is how the switching frequency can be minimized so now you have to calculate the switching times corresponding to the switching vectors in other words you can say the v1 state is active for time t1 v2 state is active for time t2 and one of the null vectors like v0 and v7 is active for tz or t0 you can say so now using volt second balance we can get the switching times corresponding to the voltage vectors like t1 t2 and t0 so t1 t2 it can be calculated from the equation and ts is the total time that is equal to t1 plus t2 plus tz or you can say t0 so from this equation uh, we can get our t0 value so now the part is uh, switching time in all sectors uh, so in the right hand side you can see the symmetry or the space vector sequence so mainly space vector sequence should assure the load line voltages have the quarter wave symmetry to reduce the even harmonics uh, and also to reduce the switching frequency it is also necessary to arrange the switching sequences in such a way that the transition from one to next is performed by switching only one inverter leg at a time so i will repeat that it is necessary to arrange the switching sequences in such a way that from one state to next state is performed by switching only one inverter leg at a time 
because by using this sequence only you can minimize the total switching losses so this is the representation of sector 1 the first one is for uh, a leg that is van second one is vvn and third one is vcn so the switching transition is uh, 000 100 110 111 and after that 111 this is reflecting because uh, we have to generate the quarter wave symmetry so that is 111 110 100 then again 000 so uh, we know that for 000 that is t0 by 2 after that t1 uh, for v0 and v7 the total time is t0 or tz uh, for individually v0 that is t0 by 2 and for v7 that is also t0 by 2 because both are the null vectors and for v1 the corresponding switching time is t1 and for v2 the corresponding switching time is t2 so now consider the phase a phase a sector 1 so how much time span the switch s1 will on that is t1 plus t2 plus t0 by 2 switch s1 will on for a phase the lower switch is switch S4. So switch S4 will on only for T0 by 2. If we consider the B phase, the B phase upper switch means a switch S3. So switch S3 will on T2 plus T0 by 2 time. Switch S3 will on T2 plus T0 by 2 and for phase b the negative switch is switch s6 so s6 will turn on for the period of t1 plus t0 by 2 so that is here written so now consider the c phase in case of c phase the upper switch is s5 so s5 will turn on for a period of t0 by 2 and for phase C, the lower switch is S2. So S2 will turn on for a period of T0 by 2 or you can say Tz by 2 plus T1 plus T2. So I think uh, you can understand that how the switches, the switching times can be calculated from this representation for sector 1 only. So similarly, uh, sector you have to calculate for sector 2 sector 3 as well as up to sector 6 now let's switch in
so this is how you can design a space vector pulse width modulation for a three phase inverter circuit if you like this video please hit the like button and for latest video update subscribe to my channel thanks for watching